Good evening, and welcome to our service of Thursday Compline here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. Our Compline service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone or tablet, or you can follow along with us using the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this evening. As always, we uh, beseech you to give us a comment or reaction so we know that you're here uh, praying with us so that we can pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 134, and we will say this together. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place, and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever will be. Amen. Our word this evening comes from the first letter of Peter. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snare of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Gracious God, I do lift up to you today St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you to guide, guard, and protect us and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. We lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those who are preparing for or recovering from surgeries and procedures, those with need of ongoing care and healing, 
and those with urgent need this day. Most especially, Jace, Jerry, John, Fred, Butch, Gail, Peggy, Are there others to be named? Gracious God, I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike. I pray for Alexa and Lauren, for David and John. I pray for Enid and I pray for Jan. Gracious God, I lift up to you, Bob, Dee, and Adam, Haley, Morgan, and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie, and Ryan. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us now say together the Song of Simeon. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this night and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our prayerful service of Compline. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise at 745 and 10 o'clock. As always, I beseech you to take care of yourself. Show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you love. See how you might could be a blessing to them. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you a good evening. May God be with you this night and always.